probability essentially started with the study of gambling and gambling with cards is one of the most common ways of gambling so in order to do problems involving probability we will be using a reference to standard deck of cards so you have to know enough about these cards to answer the questions. The first thing about a standard deck of cards is that there are 52 of them. And this is what they look like. They're divided up though into, into subgroups. For example, there are 26 black cards and there are 26 red cards. The way I have them here, the 26 black cards are on top and the 26 red cards are on bottom. A standard deck of cards has four suits. They're called clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. The clubs and the spades are the black cards, and there are 13 of each. And the hearts and the diamonds are the red cards, and there are 13 of each of those. And 13 times 4 is 52. There are 12 so-called face cards, and if you look at those cards, they actually have faces on them. That's why they're called face cards. The J stands for Jack, so there are four Jacks. The Q stands for Queen, so there are four Queens. And the K stands for King, and there are four Kings. So the 12 face cards are the four Jacks, the four Queens, and the four Kings. So, some, so when someone refers to face cards, those are the 12 cards they, they are referring to. You can break them up also by the number or the symbol on the card. If you look at the first column, those are called aces. The A's are aces. There are four of them. There's one of each suit. Then you have the number cards, 2 through 10, all the way to 10. Then you have the jacks, the queens, and the kings. 